Squarespace just for you. Hey guys, this is Jake, and today we're going to go through um, a cool little feature, and that's basically the printf function. And the printf function, simply written printf, is simply an output. Um, as you can see, when we ran our program initially, we had nothing that displayed on the screen. It did run successful, so we felt good about ourselves. But now we want to actually display something on the screen, and as we move forward, you'll see how important it is to understand what your program is doing. So in this case, I want you guys to simply write out printf, and f in this case stands for print formatted, just so you guys know. And then we're going to put a pair of parentheses, and this is basically where the parameters of our function are going to go. And then we're going to end it with a semicolon, because every statement, every command has to end it with the semicolon within the C language. That basically tells the compiler, hey, we're done with this function or this command, move on to the next line. Alright, so then within the parentheses, we're going to put um, a pair of quotation marks, and this is going to signify that the next thing that we enter in here is going to be a string, whatever it is. So I want you guys to put your name in there, and once you get your name in there, you should have obviously the print or the quotes on either side of your name and that's going to be your string and what we're going to do is we can hit this run button up here or we can just click F6 it's going to run and now you see that Jake Jensen has displayed it's basically the output of this particular program that we've written so far pretty cool now I'm going to show you a few tricks here let's say we copy this and we want another printf function and in this case we're going to write something like is the Jedi Master of C programming. Alright, so you get that. Now in this case it should be Jake Jensen on one line and as we read it we should have this on the next. So let's go ahead and run that and see what we get. So we run it and we see that uh, no, no, instead of separate lines it's all on one line. And that just, that just looks terrible. It's not what I wanted. So what I'm going to introduce to you guys also the forward slash and in this case we're going to have a new line so we're going to put n so this right here forward slash n is a line break and so now we should have the desired result as we're looking for so let's go ahead and run that and you'll see Jake Jensen is the Jedi Master of C programming that's what we're looking for now you're probably wondering why do we why do we have two printf statements is it possible to like you know just take this put it after this line break and get the same results absolutely the reason I did that is so you guys could see that we can put multiple functions within the same um, function and essentially get the same results with different programming styles so some of it uh, you want to keep mind you want to keep in mind as you guys develop your programs but uh, you know there's different ways to get to different results so once you get there you can delete that out, run it again, you can see that it's all on one line then, and uh, hopefully you guys will get some of that. So take this printf, put some different variables in there, put uh, some different things that you want to output onto the screen just so you get a basic understanding, and you guys are ready for the next tutorial. We'll catch you guys in the next one.